it was just a uh, it was just a lot of competition and a lot of physicality, and uh, you know, coach coach laid it out with a clear view how how this place is supposed to play, you know, how we're supposed to play on the grass under the lights, and so we went out there and made sure that they knew how to do that. So, you know, it was a it was a it was a it was just a physical practice. Coach Matt said yesterday, the defense has to learn that we're a defensive football team. Right? Yep. Well, how do you interpret that when you think that to you and the players? It means exactly that. I mean, you know, the uh, it, we have to do our job, right? We're one third of the of the team, so it, it if if we don't stop them on defense, then we got we got no chance. I mean, uh, we got zero chance, and so. That that just was not good enough. That was that was ridiculous. So, as we go through this process, and they see and they understand, and you know, coach being being having those expectations on us on on that side of the ball, then we need to live up to it. So, simultaneously, you pointed out that the longest play is 29 yards, which is that's pretty good. Uh, when you say it wasn't good enough, what were the things that you're like? There's the area where we didn't play up to the standard that we had had at the previous four games. Yeah, I think the execution and then the going out there on the grass and playing with our hair on fire, those were the two things that showed up the most. You say on that 29-yarder, we didn't even have a guy. We had we, we didn't have a guy do the right thing. He went the completely wrong way, and no no coincidence, it goes right there. So, And that's just one of the plays that were given up, you know, but probably more so, you know, about the execution is the way, the manner of which we didn't play with our hair on fire, and that's 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 all that's that's me. You know, I, I know Coach sat up here and in, in, in front of everybody and, and said that and did that, but you know that that's that's also my responsibility too to make sure that when those young men line up on the grass, they play they play lights out and and they play RDV, and they didn't. So we need to uh, we need to uh, make sure that we. We allow those guys to do that. Tony, that critique of them or that evaluation of them, of the way that things went, you know, the whole, the whole coaching staff, the team, did you see it from the, the beginning of the game? Like, did you see some of the things that were making you unhappy on the first drive, or did it snowball as the lead got bigger? No, from the first drive, you saw it. I mean, you could see things right off the get go, like like those, the execution part, guys not, not being in the right spots, and then guys not. Not playing not to not to lose versus going to win games. I, I thought Coach said that the best. You know, we when we step on the field, we go play to win. You know, we're, we're, we can't be we can't be hesitant. That that's me included as a play caller, right? I can't be I can't be perfect all the time and try to try to try to think I'm going to win the game. It's it's trusting those young men to go out there and go go play and lay it out on the line. You know, so it, it all starts with me in terms of letting the guys go play and being aggressive as hell and, and, and turning them loose so that they can go do those things. So, Tony, you played on um, some Friday games of four. For you, what is the difference in kind of preparing a defense with one last day to go on the road and not having that day here at home just to kind of prepare? Yeah, it, just, it, just, it speeds everything up. You know what I mean? You don't get the luxury of, of really – Taking that extra day to to put that last game to bed and then say okay uh, have the day to go and look you 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 merge the two days you know I'm putting it damn near putting it away right from the get go and then turning turning the the next game and I thought it was it was really cool to watch because not only did coach I think do that to make sure like hey there's going to be a standard that 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 on Saturday was not acceptable that's not that that's not the way it's going to be around here period. But also in the sense of like going out there and doing those things, like brought us back to making sure we take care of what we need to take care of. Because that's that's it, right? I mean, that offense, defense, special teams. We got to do what we what we do. We got to play to our standards. And I said it last week. Regardless of who the hell the opponent is, we got to do things a certain way to give ourselves a chance to win. So going out there and doing it and remind ourselves that it does not matter who we're playing. It is about us doing what we're the hell, what we're supposed to do. So that way we can go do it. How do you guys respond to Deshaun's injury right away? And, and what does that mean for, for the secondary moving forward? Yeah, I mean, that's where all that cross training and stuff helped. You know, we got, we got guys moving around and, and they're going to have to pick up the slack. I mean, we got guys, 
guys doing that right now, you know, with Cam being down and then Luke going down on, on game day and stuff like that, you know, all those reps now that the guys took early on, they're starting to show up and help. So you, you don't have that much of a drop off, but it's still continuing. Now we got those guys who are taking some of those backup reps. Now they're getting the bulk of them. And now you got new guys starting to go in there and getting those other backup reps. So we, we just got to keep on doing that and making sure that we trust the guys that they're going to learn it, that they're going to execute on the grass. How did uh, line breaths play? Line breaths played 43 snaps and breaths played 30 snaps. Yeah, I, I'm going to say that as a whole defense. It, there, there wasn't there wasn't one guy you could say played their played their tails off. Period. We uh, we didn't we just didn't get it done. Coach myself, you know, uh, nobody. So I, I can't say that anyone, how did those guys play? Because nobody went in there and played the way we're supposed to play. Is that a good learning experience for those two? I think that's the most eager one to play. Yeah, I mean, in terms of game reps, yeah, the, that's the most game reps, you know, that they got. And you can see, because again, it, you never know what a guy's going to do until he actually goes in the game against somebody he'd never seen before, and they're running plays that they've never seen before. You know, so it was it was good to get them those game reps, but you know the the reps that they were in were, were not good enough. I think Prince Will got maybe into camp a little bit. You see him starting to get his feet under him. Is working at that jack spot now this week. Yeah, a lot a lot of guys, you know, and he's he's awarded himself that by continuing to do the things the right way, you know, going up there and meeting more with coach and and coming on the grass and being able to execute. He's one on Sunday that had probably one of his best practices, you know what I mean? And so whenever whenever guys respond the right way, now that just gives you a chance to go out there and actually do it when the lights are on, right? So so he's he's responded the right way up to this point. So, you know, we just gotta get him on the field and then and then turn him loose. What is it about DeAndre Cars? Yeah, same thing. Uh, Coach Coop, you know, look, looking at it and cross training and getting guys ready. There were some guys who kind of flashed early on a little bit more than others, and he was one of them. You know, he's just he's smart and he's uh, physically gifted. So now it just comes down to him learning what to do and then getting him in enough practice reps and stuff so he can just be more instinctual versus. Right now, you know, sometimes those guys' head is spinning when they when they haven't taken any reps, and all of a sudden it, you, you're going up against the one offense or going up against another team. You know, everything is thinking versus instinctual. So we got to get him to a point where he's instinctive. Tony, what needs to change for the pass rush to, to get home again after these last two weeks where you weren't able to, to get to the quarterback? Yeah, the, I think the the again that that comes back on me, right? The being aggressive. You look at the the games prior, and we're really aggressive up there. The La Tech game, um, we kind of figured that they weren't going to just let you run back there, right? They were real quick throws and, you know, doing certain things that you like, okay, they're not going to let you run back there and hit the quarterback. But this game, you know, we had we had some chances too. We just didn't hold up whether it was we had chances to hit them and the coverage broke down or whether the coverage was great and we didn't we didn't get off of off a of block. So that's just me, me, me and the play calling, being aggressive and, and letting the guys loose. And then the preparation during the week, making sure the guys know what to do. And then, and again, it comes back to making sure their, their mindset's correct, right? It, it, you got to play, right? You got to get on the grass and play ball. Okay. And, and that's the most disappointing thing. You know, when you're looking at it as a coach, like it, you go back and look at like, what did I do wrong? So that way those guys can go because they do everything that's asked, right? I mean, they came in on Sunday and, and, and went through, went, had a had a really good practice, you know. And so they're gonna they're gonna go and do it. So now, one, we gotta we gotta do our part. Make sure they know what the hell to do, so they can go do it. And then demand that of them. Make sure that they understand. Again, I said this before, and I know coach. This is from coaches. Like, there is a way you're gonna play football in Nebraska, okay? And that was not good enough on Saturday. Period. So we gotta get it fixed. Thank you.